I guess it was tight. Either way. <laughs> so loud. Good morning, Ohio! We're gonna be here for like two more seconds and then we're gonna be in Pennsylvania. And you know what's in Pennsylvania? One of my bestest friends ever, so we're gonna go surprise her. I don't know how because we have a big bus and I feel like she's kind of sneaking suspicion that we're gonna come for a crash landing, but we're gonna do it anyways. We park the bus down the street and I'll like put a costume on and like act like a delivery man or something. I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna head that way. We're gonna get some gas and then uh, hopefully we'll surprise Lindsay. All right, bye. All right, I'm doing a little crafty project while we're driving to go surprise my best friend Lindsay. Um, we picked up this adorable little school bus at the world's largest truck stop in Iowa, Walcott, Iowa, the I-80, I think it's called but it obviously doesn't quite look like Yarbus. It does. The last time Betty Boy saw it, who is our number one fan ever since we got the bus, like he thinks it's so cool. And we're going to turn it into the Yarbus. So I've already done the windows on it with our vinyl and I'm sharpieing it black currently. Also getting like fairly high sharpieing this thing because it's right in my face because I'm trying to be steady, but it's adorable and I can't wait to give it to him. Also with a, with a Bus Life Pirate sticker. Oh, I missed you. We just didn't get enough time during the <laughs> wedding, so I had to come see you. All right, good morning. Um, we are in Pittsburgh, and Kenzie is still sleeping, but we are gonna hang out here for the day, run around with her friend Lindsay, maybe have some eggs Benedict if we're really lucky, because Lindsay's husband is like, kind of famous for making dank uh, eggs Benedict. I am fortunately am on the opposite end. I am infamous for making terrible eggs Benedict, but I've only tried once. So, you know, maybe I'll learn a thing or two. But yeah, um, I'm gonna let Kenzie go ahead and sleep in. And this is actually kind of funny because we are literally parked in the backyard. Uh, yeah, so. This is a really nice neighborhood. And yeah, we're just we're just parked in their backyard right now. Spread it up your nose. Yeah. Spanish salute. I did understand what you were saying about Sarah understanding. We just got back from an arcade bar type thing, uh Coupe de Ville. It was super cool. Um, we're gonna chill with the kids and the family for a little bit, but yeah, I gotta see a little bit of downtown Pittsburgh. It was my third-ish time, Chase's first time. Tis the city of bridges, because in Pittsburgh there are 446 bridges within the city, so it's, you know, just another fun fact from Kenzie. I like that random, random-ass trivia. I'm gonna let this thing charge for a little bit, and then we'll bring you guys back out. So, it's been a good day so far. Hmm. Bye! Good morning, Pennsylvania! Um, we just left the Noland household. It was so fun surprising them. And the kids got to see the bus because they were actually the first humans to ever see it when we got her and she was still a school bus. So it was fun. We got to park in their backyard because of course our timing and surprising and not letting people know we're coming. Their driveway was getting done. So they literally had a bus in the backyard and it's hilarious getting out of the bus in the morning and being in Lindsay's backyard but I love you guys so so much oh my god so much that was wonderful we didn't film any of the goodbye and like I think hardly filmed any of us being there but it was so lovely to hang out with the Nolan family I love each and every one of you Kinley James Benny Lindsay you're my bitch um Chase is almost done with the oil change the pan is still underneath there so hopefully in the least they'll recycle our oil for us at the auto center which is just around the way 
so far it's a good day. A little bummed that they couldn't just do the oil change for us, but I think we saved like close to maybe $60, so that's pretty cool. We are at Discount Tire. They are gonna try to fix what the guy fucked up. So basically they, like I said, flip flop the tire. I'll kind of show you so you can see what that looks like. This one is actually how it's supposed to look. Um, you can kind of see if I get in here, see how big these holes are? It's so you can access actual air hose. And uh, on the other side, if you peek at it on the other side, they have holes like this. Hold on. This. I can't fit my hand in there. So I can't fill the air up. So yeah, hopefully they said be done by like one. So we're gonna go try to find some food and if I can convince Kenzie, maybe we'll play some laser tag. So I saw a laser play, tag place like just over there. But yeah, all right, talk to you soon. Scranton, Scranton. If you've ever watched The Office, that's where we are. Call Steve Carell, let him know we've arrived. Um, it's a travel day, so we've been pretty bad about our food, and decided that I just wanted like some soup and a biscuit. So, give you one guess at where we are. If you said Cracker Barrel, you're right. Um, Chase also got the pot pie that he wanted the first time we ate there, so we'll try this again. If if anybody dies, we're fucking leaving and never coming back. <laughs> That's probably not true. It's so nice that there's also like somewhere when you're in the city or just traveling highway stuff that you can go stay and like it's like typically safe, secure. Yeah, you know? for those of you who have been following us through this, like obviously you saw our little camp trip, but like 90% of the time we try to stay outdoors like that. But because we've been just on such a strong push across the country, like literally just like, I mean, three days ago we were in Colorado um, and so I mean we took one day off there to hang out with her girlfriend from back in the day and see Lindsay um, but yeah otherwise we've just been like on six to eight hours plus of driving so like 10 hour 12 hour days of just pushing and then when you're in a city or something it's just so hard to find a place and without reservations and blah 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 so we're also our, trying to keep it free 99 because we're working on a budget yeah normally so. well wild camping's free too but hopefully uh once we get closer to like lennox area that kind of thing um lennox mass the berkshires we'll be able to figure out some camping and actually get outside because we need we need that outdoors we need some nature we we need to be outside among the trees and the birds and all the nature and, and, the, and the bumblebees and the buffaloes well the bumble it's a little cold for the bumblebees okay a little cold for them bumblebees oh i saw a dead bear on the side of the road That's i really cool. like to observe roadkill i don't know why let me know if you're one of those people too uh yes there was 23 dead raccoons going through uh, iowa on the i-80 mm -hmm. But yeah, I saw a dead bear on the side of the road. It was the other direction on the highway, but it was definitely a dead bear. Like its big old paw was out. It was stiff. That means that it's bloated and the, the meat is no good. Yeah, sometimes we pass roadkill and Chase is like, you eat that? I'm like, why would you even think about that? I just like to I'm gonna eat roadkill, but it's good from a survival standpoint to understand how to tell if you come across meat if it's good or bad or still can be used it's but. the fur doesn't pull out and the legs aren't stiff and it's not bloated and these are things i've learned being married to this man it's true it's good to know but yeah we'll talk to you soon yep. Good morning. Uh, yeah, another successful night, Cracker Barrel. Uh, no dead people this time, so, you know, it's not a hard bar to beat. Um, we are just outside of Scranton, 
and we are going to head to Lenox today. I'm super excited. Um, I lived in Lenox for off and on for about good morning, baby. For off and on for about uh, five years, six years, um, and I love that area. It's really amazing. Uh, if you haven't been to the Berkshires in general, it is gorgeous. We'll definitely show you some footage of it. But yeah, we should be there. We're, I want to say, four and a half hours out, so pretty excited. Yeah, uh, we will show you what that looks like. Cool. So basically, our gas cap light came on. We got that fixed. I think it just wasn't on securely, and we hit a little bump, so it got just enough of a, a little breath that the sensor went off but sealed it back on it's good to speak beyond the fact that our check engine lights on it's been on since we bought the bus um, originally thought it was an O2 sensor because that's the code that was popping up and I was like oh no problem I'll just fix the O2 well I'm crawling under there looking everywhere feeling like an idiot because like I know cars pretty well I've worked on them a good portion of my life uh, off and on really I've had my brother teach me how to work on them he uh he's really my go-to for most all mechanical electrical whatever uh if it's a handyman thing i go to my brother and then through that over a lifetime i have learned some stuff on my own but yeah thought oh i'll just replace the o2 in the catalytic no catalytic so yeah that was a cool little find after we bought this um, we're hoping to maybe buy one while we're out here because in Colorado, catalytic converters, we have switched to California code. So they're like $3,500 and uh, out here they're like $450. So probably get one out here and I'll install it with my brother when we get home. Um, but yeah, my brother is responsible for helping us with the roof deck, the ceiling, the electrical, the, the plumbing, heater. the heater. Um, literally can't can't say enough about how much he's helped us with everything. Really all in all. Thank you, Damon. You're our number one uh, yard support rescue team. Oh my god. The oh, road's not me. great here. Oh yeah. Thank you, Damon. And our gas cap light went off like three minutes after we just filmed the other part that didn't have any audio. And it told us on the internet that it might take a couple of days or you might have to clear the code, but it already went off on its own. Check engine light's still on. We might buy a catalytic here. Uh, what, what did we learn? Check to make sure the mic is on. That's what we learned. Also, tighten the gas cap, yabbies. It was tight. We just hit a bump. I had to literally use a key to unlock it so I could take it off and put it back on. So. All right. Well, I guess it was tight. Either way. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> Follow us. <laughs>